guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 2018 favorites. I'm so excited. We are now in 2019. Uh, so I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve and are having a great first day of 2019. And these are going to be all of my favorite makeup items for last year. And I'm hoping that a lot of this isn't what I had in my favorites video last year. I think I did one last year. If I did a, fav a 2017 favorites, I will list that down below. See, so yeah, a lot of this stuff is actually new for me this year. So, so let's get straight into this video. First item is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I used this for like the first time like during this year and I actually really like it I'm pretty sure yeah it's a silicon based primer and it is really good at like adhering your makeup and it's like oil free so it's good for people who have oily skin like me but yeah, I really enjoy this people say it's just like the hourglass mineral veil primer which I do see it in a little bit but it's not so much like it but it is sort of it is similar so yeah it's really good and it's like $20 I think next favorite is the Leno Lips Le uh, Lemon Aid lip treatment it's basically it's a lip uh, lip balm and it's really good because I've been having really bad chapped dry lips and this is actually not too bad for it and it gives you that shiny lot of, sort of look yeah I really enjoy this I don't use it often but I keep it on the top of my make makeup collection so yeah moving on to foundations I have two most things most things I only have like one product but yeah first one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I have the color pearl I really enjoy this foundation it's great and it's a matte foundation without being too matte like the foundation I've got on today is a little bit too matte really and this one lasts so long it's not too full coverage but you can build it up to a full coverage and yeah I really enjoy this foundation the next foundation is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I love this foundation. This foundation lasts so long. It's like a 13 hour wear foundation, if not like 14. But I can wear this foundation for like 12, 13 hours without having to pat a blot or powder or anything. So it's really good and I love it. Next product is the Tarte Chrome Paint a shadow pot and this is in sun drenched it is a lovely through a champagne color I think and I love this it's so pigmented I'll list my um, I think it's my Christmas get ready with me that I used this but yeah it is so pigmented like that's just like a little it's like a little tap and it's still like super pigmented. That's the colour. It's such a gorgeous colour. So gorgeous. I love it. I might even eventually grab some more of these. But they're expensive. They're like 40 something dollars. Next thing is a powder. And it is the Hourglass Diffused Light uh, Powder. The Ambient Lighting Powder from Hourglass. This I love as like an all over powder. I use it to set underneath my eyes and my whole face. And it is amazing. It's like a seamless like diffusal powder. It's amazing. I love it. And it's like lasted a long time. Next product is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I love this highlighter. It is so gorgeous. You can kind of see it there. That's it down there. It is amazing. It's so 
blinding highlight. I love this highlight. And I, I don't know what else to say about any of these products. I just love it. It works so well. It gives you that glow. Sort of like this, but not like this. Different, prime, different highlighter. My next highlighter, yes I have two highlighters, is the Kylie Jenner Cosmetics highlighter. And this is in French Vanilla. And this is... I love this highlight because it's a different sort of highlight than like Moonstone. Like that's it there. As you can see it's quite metallic compared to like Moonstone. And I love it. Like the metallic feel of this highlighter is amazing. It's so gorgeous. Next product is a blush and it is the Too Faced. Papa Dom Peach Blush. I have no idea if they still stock this, but I love this. It's a neutral pink, goes with like every look, smells absolutely amazing. Oh, so good, and I love it. I love that blush. It goes with like every single makeup look that you could think of. It is amazing. It's like a pink, peachy, bronzy, mauvey color. Next products are eyeshadows and I have four eyeshadow palettes and like two of them are sort of connected as like a favorite together but I'll get into that. All of these palettes are new to me this year or and new to the market. First palette is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I love ooh, should love this palette it's amazing yeah I have filmed a three-in-one look or tutorial using this palette but it is not yet up I don't think but yeah I love this eyeshadow palette it's got like all the colors that you could possibly need for like thousands of looks my next eyeshadow palette is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette now when this came out here in Australia I didn't swatch this palette. I didn't even do like I didn't nothing with this palette. I just went into the store the first day it was available and snatched it up like that. Spent however much it was and I was like, "Yep, I'm getting that." <laughs> yep, that happened. And yeah, it's a nice peach smell. It's like what what's it infused? Infused with peach and sweet fig cream. But yeah, I love this one. It's quite a nice palette and it's all mattes. I use this like all the time. Even like if I just use this palette for my crease, then I'll just use it for my crease and put like some sort of shimmer on the eyelid. But yeah, love this palette. And I will be doing a three in one palette video with this one. Now, my next palettes, and I've included two of them together, bec um, are both limited edition palettes, and they are the Huda Beauty, I think they're the Gemstone Obsession palettes or something like that, and I have Ruby and Topaz. I love these, and I hope they still are available for you guys to get. I know that they're limited edition and all that, but these are amazing. I love these two palettes. So this is Topaz and this is Ruby. So you can probably tell different colors. I love the Topaz. And it's a, apparently Topaz is a lot like uh, their warm browns. But I don't have the warm browns one. So yeah. But I love these two palettes. And really if this collection was permanent I'd probably have brought all five of them no joke that is it for my eyeshadow palettes I'll, I will just include one more and it is the Coral Obsessions I used it for the first time to do this look and I love it that's what the palette looks like and yeah I love these little Obsessions Huda Beauty palettes because they're so compact they're like the size of your hand and yeah, they don't cost like a bomb. They well they they cost forty eight dollars. It's not a bomb, but it's not cheap. Anyway, the last 
lot are two liquid lipsticks and one actually they're both nudes one is the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Charm. They're both nudes, so this is the first one. Love that color. And then the next one is the Kat Von D Lolita. So I used to be obsessed with Lolita, and I actually finished it at one point. I think last year I finished it. And then I got back, because I wasn't didn't really wear it through much of last year. And then I got back into wearing it at the end of this year. So yeah, love these two. You can see that one's more of a mauve and one's more like a pinky nude, but they're both nudes. That is the end of my 2018 favourites. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me when you guys do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys.